Friday, September 25th at 4.15 p.m., my sister and I went to meet for Punzel for the first time. I really didn't know what to expect because I had a mix of so many different emotions. Hi! Hi. You're so cute! <laughs> We're gonna get you out, okay? Lola. My first dog died from flea prevention medication only six days after I got her. I still think of Lola every single day, especially walking by the hallway mirror where she'd play with mirror puppy. She loved other puppies, not just the one in the mirror. And I knew that someday she'd want me to have another friend. I kept saying maybe around my birthday, the right one would pop up, but then my birthday passed and still no puppy. And then one morning I got a text with this happy little face. She was born four days after Lola died. And it felt kind of like Lola went to puppy heaven, picked out the best puppy and sent her to me. This is me, I'm so royal. Did Lola send you? Oh, you're licking me. Thank you. I hope you like me. Oh, you're wagging your little tail. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, you okay? You sneeze? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, you okay? Hey, okay. What's wrong? What's that little noise you're making? I don't know what that noise is. Maybe does she have water, maybe? I don't know. Oh, let's get you water. Like a little. Oh, there she's drinking. Hello, dear she's little friend. Oh, she likes you better! I didn't like my boob. Hi! Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> she likes you! <laughs> I don't know if she likes me or she's like attacking me. Hi! Oh. <laughs> I must smell like something. <laughs> she's Let's go see Sarah. I you like to see me too or just Emmy? <laughs> You're harder to reach, Sarah. <laughs> there you go. There, see, she wants to climb on you like that. Oh, there. Hi. Hi, little, little fluffy like it. Do you do like me? Hee <laughs> hee. I'm glad you like me. <laughs> Do you want to see if she wants to maybe put the harness on? <laughs> You're the cutest. You're the cutest. Your little outfit. It's a little big on you, but that's okay. You'll grow into it. <laughs> Your bow is so cute. You're so fancy. Okay. It's okay. I'll be your best friend. Can you be my best friend? Are you ready to go home? We'll take you home, okay? We take you home. <laughs> the ride back was rough. I sobbed silently in the front seat, trying not to let Emily and Punzi notice. Just memories of picking up Lola were flooding back. We didn't even film bringing Punzi into her new home for the first time because I was too big of a mess. Later, I finally calmed down enough to record. Hey, hey, Punzi. You like it in there? You like it? You look really cozy. <laughs> you are pretty cute, aren't you? <laughs> I love that she looks like she has a mustache. <laughs> but once you clean her face, she won't. She wants your mustache. It's like a little curly one. Punzi, we have something very special to give you. This was your sister's boy. You see that? This was Lola's, but she said she would want you to have it. One, eight, eight. You can count, you knew when to come out. <laughs> that night I slept on the couch by Punzi's playpen. The same sleeping arrangement as the night that Lola started having seizures. Every time she would make any noise at all, I would like freak out and jump up and be like, are you okay? And it didn't help that she kept coughing her head off all night. So I was constantly afraid she was gonna die. But we made it through to the next morning. We didn't call. Are you ready to go 
I like to imagine that Lola visits her in the mirror sometimes. She doesn't move. Fancy, who is that? You really stood and stared at the mirror puppy a while then. My Lola experience made me just constantly afraid that every tiny little thing might kill her. Like her bath. I wouldn't have even given her one that soon, but evidently she laid down in her own pee while she was waiting for us, so she smelled horrible. Yeah. I don't know if she was cold or scared, but as soon as she started shaking, we finished her bath in a hurry. I thought she was gonna get like hypoglycemic or something. Night two was an absolute disaster. She was coughing and coughing. I mean, I was like convinced that we needed to take her to the ER. It was all out like panic attack, sobbing. My sister, she didn't tell me this, but she texted my mom. She's like, we're gonna take Sarah to the emergency room, not the puppy. Like, yeah, she didn't feel well, but I was like hyperventilating. I was just convinced she was just gonna die. The same thing was gonna happen again. If anything that night proved was that I definitely loved Punzi. It got better after night two. I was able to enjoy a lot of these little first moments more, like her first time out in her little stroller. <laughs> yeah! The little bumpy. Yeah! Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Happy puppy. Happy puppy. And her first walk. What do you think? Do you want Not sure. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. I can pick up on this. Meeting my parents for the first time. <laughs> we even took her to visit Lola's special spot where she went on her first walk. You don't usually get to come in here, do you? Oh! <laughs> Welcome to the queendom, Rapunzel. Yeah! I mostly call her Punzi or <laughs> Snugglet. I was afraid she was gonna think that her name was Snugglet. You can sit on the special pillow so they can see you. Do you like it? Mm, I'm so excited. I'm like, can you cry? We never got to introduce Lola to everybody, but you, everybody already loves you so much. I know they will. You better. Oh, oh. <laughs> you licked my mouth, that's so gross. Her favorite toy is my hair. She will bite it and latch on, especially to my little silk hair scrunchies. Ma'am, that's my hair tie. <laughs> Bunzi. <laughs> But we're working on that. <laughs> oh my God, she's, this is so perfect for this channel. Quick hair lesson, dog edition. Baby Pomeranians have soft, fluffy cotton ball looking fur. Then around four to six months, they start to shed the baby fluff to make way for the adult coat. So they wind up looking patchy and awkwardly scraggly. People call it the puppy uglies, but that is so mean. You're not ugly, you've never been ugly, you're always so pretty. I prefer the alternate term monkey stage because their legs look too long and the face looks bald like a monkey. People kept asking me if I shaved Punzi's face and I was like, no! Palms usually finish the monkey stage around 10 months and you can see basically what they're gonna look like by their first birthday, but it can take up to two years for the coat to grow in completely. When she got here, she'd actually already started her early monkey phase. Now, she's starting to get fluffy, being aren't you? Look how fluffy you're starting to get. So we can all continue to watch Miss Furpunzel's coat grow in, even if you 
were bald, we would love you. The first month, I barely slept at all because every time you would make any noise at all in the middle of the night, I'd like freak out and be like, are you okay? And then she'd just look at me like, are you okay, human? Let me sleep. Still happens occasionally, but it's getting better. I'm really grateful to have Punzi. I'm really grateful to have yeah, yeah. You think that you just love the other pet with all of your heart and somehow your heart just makes extra room, doesn't it, Punzi? It's like the Grinch, <laughs> it grows three sizes. Now I love Punzi and Lola both. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't gonna do the whole like and subscribe thing, but it's a much happier mood now, so I feel good about saying it. Like and subscribe for Punzi, how could you say no? to this little face. Say bye, Punzi. Say bye. Say bye.